Hey guys, I'm hearing from a lot of you uh, that you're dealing with boredom or you or the children at home are just kind of bored. So let's let's get past that. Let's just get a piece of paper and maybe um, just crayons is fine. Or if you have Sharpies or markers or colored pastels. The first thing I often like to do is, um, you know, you could pick some of your favorite music and put it on at home. Just take a few minutes to center yourself, take a few deep breaths and just stop and think about, how do I really feel today? I mean, like, and a lot of people think, oh, I, I can't pick up a crown unless I know what I'm drawing. No, that's exactly not what we're talking about today. I might just come in here with a black crayon and just, you know, as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking, how am I feeling? Or some shapes that I like. And yours does not have to look at like mine at all. You can just spend a few minutes in my head. I'm actually kind of playing one of my favorite tunes, but I didn't want to put music on that wouldn't be allowed on this video. So I would just create something and maybe I'm just, I guess I feel like, oh, this looks like me in my house. Just wondering how many rooms can I walk around and thinking about missing people and all the things, but you know what? Maybe this is just how I'm feeling today. A little bit trapped inside, a little bit and doing the same motions over and over. So this might be how mine looks. I, did, I didn't draw a single thing in there that you even recognize, unless you maybe see some Easter, Easter uh, eggs or whatever you might see. But then I could come back in and take a color and it could be your favorite color. And I might just come in here and just, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add color this one in like this. And one of my favorite things sometimes when I'm teaching it, just a beginning abstract, if you draw the first line with blacks and just make some random shapes, whatever, when you come back in, um, color is space only within the black lines because then your original lines will stand out. So see there, you see I added a, a pattern. Maybe I'm gonna add some, some spots here, but I'm not crossing any black lines because I still wanna see my pattern. So. Let me see, maybe I'll come over here and do, oh, here's another pattern. This is, I love curvy shapes. I guess you can see that by my original drawing. I just love curvy shapes. To me, it kind of sounds musical in my head when I'm drawing it. Um, I like stripes. Oh, this must be a neon orange. It doesn't want to show up very well, uh, especially because it's a little bit cloudy day with my um, studio today. The sunlight coming in is kind of diffused. Maybe I'll take, let me go take another bright color. Who doesn't love the big pack of crayons? Times like this definitely calls for the multi-pack like this. Wouldn't you say so? Um, and I even know grown-ups of all ages still love to smell that smell of the fresh crayons at the beginning of the school year. Um, I might come in here. Oh, here's a shape I might do. I might come in here and just chase a line around like we're on a race car track. Let me try that again on the bigger shape. Oh, here's, here's one. Oh, I'm gonna come in here like this is my little race car and I'm gonna drive around this line, come in again until my track runs out of space. I might come in here. This was one of my favorite doodles when I was a child. I would do three shapes one direction and three shapes another. And I like to think it looks like maybe at the edge of a beach shore. I just, and I know each one of you has your favorite shapes and patterns that you like to doodle. Allow yourself time to doodle. Yes, you can grab a coloring book and fill those shapes in. That's a great thing and soothing to do. But if you don't have a coloring page, make your own by just designing something like this where you're just taking your lines and just going. So this is one of the things that, that I just love to do and I would just keep coming in and adding a pattern. Oh, right now I'm thinking about my grandmother and how she always had a checkered tablecloth on the table. Okay, maybe I'm thinking about, let's see what else. Oh, thinking about my grandmother who always had lots of ferns and green things in her yard. So maybe I'll fill up this one to make it look like it's a leaf or a fern laying inside this space. I think you get the idea. The idea is just let yourself freeform draw and um, just see what's gonna happen. Here's a few others I had done uh, other days recently. 
This one I use with um, pastels, which come like this. And these are very nice because they're kind of like a crayon, but they have a little greasy texture because it's got some oil in it. So that comes on smooth and bold. And the other nice thing about pastels is once you lay a line, if you wanted to come in and smear it to have a different type of pattern, you can do that with your finger. So you can make, you know, make it have different values. That's kind of the neat thing about that. Um, here's another one I did. Okay, so grab a piece of paper, whatever you have. Do a doodle on it. This might even become a greeting card for one of my friends. Maybe I'll finish it and just make it look like it's um, eggs laying in the grass for an Easter card. Uh, so those are just some things that I'm thinking. And uh, just wanted to know, I'm thinking of you. You're going to laugh. I, I, my, right now, my um, the way that I videotape is with, um, I stack some some cans to hold my iPhone up. Um, so that's what that noise was. So I just wanted to say hi and, and please pull out a piece of paper and any kind of art materials you have and just, just give it a try. Trust me, it'll help. Love to all. Bye.